In today's world, the demand for sustainability action is increasing. Many businesses face regulations on climate risk mitigation and greenhouse gas emissions. Consumers and employees also exert pressure. Sustainability is at the forefront of, of all our mind right now. And um, beyond saving the planet, a lot of our companies are now paying attention in creating targets and making sure that they are heading towards net zero. I think the key areas in terms of sustainability really kind of include uh, the ability to run really kind of the business of running a business and doing so in a way that's going to have the least amount of impact on the environment. So when we build software, when we build systems, and asking ourselves the question, is there a better, more efficient way that's able to reduce electricity? Many cloud data centers use 75% less energy than a typical corporate data center. They contribute to a more circular economy by designing, building, deploying, and recycling hardware. Now, the cloud data centers are a major consumer of world's electricity and have a significant carbon footprint, but there are numerous advances being made in the underlying technologies that are related to reducing energy consumption. There are key challenges that organizations are facing right now in terms of actually accurately measuring the carbon emission that their operations are incurring. Major cloud providers do provide the facilities for organizations to navigate and to understand where um, their high usages are. And there are open source tools like the ones that ThoughtWorks has developed around the cloud carbon footprint tool that can work across multiple cloud providers. And also there will be recommendations on top to see where you can optimize by moving data center, infrastructure, and the resources to the cloud, organization leaders can deliver measurable environmental sustainability benefits. So in moving to cloud, we're doing a few things. But the big thing is we don't necessarily have to build more data centers. Cloud computing is able to get to 95 to 98% utilization of the same resources. We've been working with an e-commerce company in the US um, for a little while now. As they grew in business, um, provisioning servers in the data center became uh, a major bottleneck. After moving to the cloud, they actually had an estimated saving in terms of energy consumption of 13% and at the same time, expanding their business, their product base and their customer base. There's also a fundamental shift in the way cloud is being delivered these days. The energy consumed by our networks is directly proportional to the distance that data travels. So that's where the concept of edge computing comes in. Edge computing is the premise that allows data that is generated by users to be pre-processed outside large data centers before it's actually sent into the cloud. There are early experiments to suggest that the CO2 emissions from networks can be reduced by around 50% by making use of the edge. Digital technology also enable innovation and collaboration, artificial intelligence, addictive manufacturing, virtual reality, and machine learning are just some of the powerful tools to enabling next wave of climate change solutions. The key areas for emissions are around, um, I think, construction, which is 31% of the total um, emission, and then energy production, which is 27%, and agriculture, which is 19%. There are over 1.6 billion tons of food wasted globally every year. Now, if food was a nation, it would be the third highest emitter of greenhouse gases. What AI technologies are actually doing is that it's effectively being able to track food from its production right all the way to the shelf. And then what's happening is that it's able to alert and manage the supply chain such that if food is going to get rotten quickly, for example, it'll send out the right alerts so that you can source it off somewhere else where it can be quickly used. Cloud-based solutions like construction management system or 3D modeling or extended reality um, are helping construction companies to become more efficient in managing their construction project as well as create simulations and 
experiment before actually building something to prevent rework and waste. We're doing edge computing, we're doing IoT for our internal uh, heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems to run those more effectively. We're dealing with logistic systems such as the ability to manage trucking and other transportations where we're not wasting miles. And also leveraging remote workforces more efficiently so we're not requiring that people get in their cars every day and commute. We are not yet at a point in history where the global energy is generated only from renewable sources. So we have to best forecast them and plan for what, how we can optimize our usage. Artificial intelligence technologies backed by the cloud are able to predict peak demands and able to map that data onto when and where renewable sources of energy is available so that it can create an excellent plan of supply and demand for the grid. There's quite a bunch of interesting things, I think. When we are basically build, say, a wind farms, it's really hard to basically plan out in this big field, in what locations do we put our wind turbines so that we maximize the utilization of that place. Now, with AI, we can basically find much more high quality configuration. But the other thing is, um, it turns out that uh, renewable energy are kind of highly unstable. I mean, you can't really say at 5 a.m. we started having that wind blowing. We need to have a much more accurate prediction system so that we can eventually provide a very stable power supply to the end users. AI is basically helping quite a lot in chewing through a large amount of different kind of data, whether we see a local readouts of temperature and humidity and things like that, and combine them with historical data and a quote-unquote model to predict very accurately what the weather will look like in the next hour or so. I'm really excited about the future prospects of the cloud, particularly in this area of cloud and edge computing. And I believe that it offers a lot towards the sustainability agenda of the cloud. Technology is about looking at what we have to do and doing so in a much more efficient way. And that's going to have a positive impact on the business as well as the environment. We want both.